Ya, yeah, hello. Um, okay, so um, this is to actually explain how big five is going to be calculated. Um, so there are two ways to actually do the big five interpretation. One, there is an online test that can be taken. So basically what you need to do is, um, there is a link, which I'll show you the link. So this is the link. It is open psychometric.org. Uh, so you can actually take this. So, so this is the assessment that you can actually take. You can begin the assessment answer the questions, each and every question, depending upon whatever that you think suits, the, suits your personality. Once you do that, so what this is going to actually give is, it will directly give the results. So it is going to give the results in terms of percentile. So basically once you mark these individual questions, so it is going to give the percentile. So you can see the score, so there is a percentile that you can you can actually get directly. So using this percentile, you are going to interpret your personality. So this raw score doesn't really have any relevance as far as you assessing the personality if you go by this particular method. So I'll anyway talk about how to calculate this raw score as well. But uh, let's concentrate on how you are going to interpret your personality based on the percentile. So basically, what you are actually doing using this percentile is you are trying to judge, for example, in this particular case, there is an extroversion percentile is 74. So what it means is when you are actually trying to interpret, you are going to say that 73 individuals does have less extrovert nature than you, than the subject. So and 26, individuals does have high extrovertedness than you so you are actually comparing yourself with the others so basically subject is better than 73 individuals and 26 individuals are better than the subject if your score is 74 similarly if your score is 96 so there are 95 individuals you are better than 95 individuals and four individuals are better than you. That's how you can actually judge based on the percentile. So, and also you can actually label it as high, very high and those kind of things. How? So you can actually say, let's say I have a reference table where what I'm trying to say here is if the percentile is between zero to 15, it is where you, are, you can say that it is very low. If your percentile is 16 to 35, low. 36 to 65, average. 66 to 85, high. 86 to 100, very high. So this is like you can label your uh, you know uh, interpretation saying that let's say if it is 74, so it is falling falling under. 74 is falling between 66 and 85. So that means I'm saying my interpretation as high. So I can say that I have high extrovertness. Okay. So this is another way of interpreting based on the percentile. Okay. So the other way to actually do is, um, there, there is a something called as a STEM. This is STEM based ranking. So you can actually rank based on the percentile again. So let's say, uh, so you, you have a graph. So you can say that if your percentile is less than 1.14, it is one as your stem. If your percentile is less than 4.48 and greater than 1.15, your rank is two, right? So similarly, if your percentile is greater than 98.86, then you are 10. If your percentile is greater than 95.529, 9. your percentile is greater than 88.73, it is 8. So this is like 10 rank. 
okay so you are ranking your extrovertness based on this 10 so the way that it can happen is in case of my score which is 74 74 is following falling under what 59.57 and 76.64 it is falling under these two so that means my stem rank is six as far as extrovertness is concerned so it's like i rank six as an extrovert did uh, rank right so that's how six is coming into picture so multiple ways of interpreting based on percentile so you are actually judging high high extrovertedness based on the percentile you are judging the rank and saying that how you are actually you know based on the percentile and you are also judging how many individuals are better than you and how many individuals are worse than you right so worse than you and better than you so there are three ways of interpreting it so you can say that 73 individuals are better 26 is bad similarly you can rank it you can interpret as high or very high or very you know, low or very low kind of a thing so this is one way of interpreting it based on online test okay see the other way of doing it is using the raw scores okay so now we are going to the second way of interpretation so it's not that the first way of interpretation does have any negative the second way of interpretation doesn't have any extra positive ultimately in intention is to judge your personality so here you are judging the personality based on the percentile there you are going to judge based on the score okay so now how you are going to actually calculate the score so now each and every question does have five uh, so now imagine that you are taking a printout of it and manually marking it okay so imagine it this way okay so you have a printout and you are actually taking it one by one you, for the question number one you are actually putting one for the question number two you are putting one for question number three you are putting it four etc etc right so you kind of marked it based on whatever the it suits same as online here you did manually offline right so now you are going to score it so now how you are going to calculate the score for extrovertedness for agreeableness etc there is a formula for each one of it okay so there is a formula so you are going to put your scores based on this formula so for extrovertedness you are you are going to actually calculate the score for first question sixth question 11th question 16th question 21st question etc etc for agreeableness there is a different set of questions right so in case of we'll take one example of extrovertedness for extrovertedness i take the question that i marked as one right this is one now question number six if you see question number six is a negative question so what i need to do so i am going to take let's say so imagine it in this way right uh, not this one let me just put it here itself let's have i have a question one which is a positive score of one question six is a negative question so what it means is whatever the score that you have here see why i am saying negative see this formula in front of six there is minus whereas question number 11 is positive question number 16 is negative question number 21 is positive question number 26 is negative question number 31 is positive 36 is negative 
41 positive, 46 is negative. Right? So there are positive questions and negative questions. So your calculation really depends on positive and negative. So here what I am marking for question number one, I marked as one. For question number six, I marked as four. For question number 11, I marked as three. Question number 16, I marked as five, right? 21 as four. 26 as three. 31 to 36. Five. 41. One. 46. Four. So now how I'm going to calculate extrovertedness? First, I'm going to take positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. That is equal to, uh, this is minus 3 minus 3, minus 2, minus 5, minus 5, plus 1, minus 4, minus 4, minus 3, minus 7, and then minus 3, this is minus 10, right? So here I'm going to add 20 to this particular thing. So remember why I'm adding 20? Because the formula has got addition of 20 here. Similarly, in case of A, I'm going to add 14. In case of C, I'm going to add 14. Right? In case of N, I'm going to add 38. Okay? So now I'm going to add 20 as far as this formula is concerned. So what it means is minus 10 plus 20 equal to 10. So that means raw score for E is 10 for me. Okay, so now how, how am I going to interpret this particular raw score? Here, I scored 10 out of 40. For every section, maximum score is 40. Your score cannot go beyond 40. Okay, so your score is going to actually be less than 40 for everything. Okay, so here what you are actually going to do so now yours, you score 10 out of 40. Now how you are going to interpret it, right? So your interpretation is this way. So in and around, so basically your 0 to 5 is very low, okay? Or 0 to 10 is very low, right? 10 to 40. Or rather 10 to 35 is low. 35 to 65. Oh, basically, why am I doing the percentage? Sorry. Basically, 0 to if I divide this into 5 parts, so divided by 8 equal to 5, that is equal, that is equal to Right, so that means 0 to 5. Your score, if it is 0 to 5, it is very low. 6 to 10 is low. 10 to, 10 to 20. Average 21. See, this is one. 21 to 30. Either 15 to 25. Mm -hmm. This is 8. This is 8. This is 9 to 16. Or 
dot e right take this as the norm so now where is your ten score line ten score is lying near low so you can say that your extraversion is low and it is 10 out of 40. This is how you can interpret your raw score. So this is the way to interpret if you are calculating the raw score using the manual way without percentile. So this is another way of calculating. But remember one thing, your score needs to be in between 0 to 40. It can't really be more than 40 for any of those five personalities. And thing to remember is there is negative question, there is positive question. So you need to actually calculate based on negative and positive and your score is going to come between 40. And your interpretation can be in this way. 0 to 8 very low, 9 to 16 low, 17 to 24 average, 25 to 32 high, 33 to 40 very high. So, so, you, so this is how you can interpret if you are interpreting using raw score. So, um, so this is second way of doing the interpretation. The first way is the uh, uh, general percentile way that is online way. This is the second way of interpretation. 